Alright, so I just made two really fast videos. Um, gonna practice doing some quickies. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can channel. Let's see. Um, uh, I mean, what alien being would I channel? Um, I had a request to channel a certain um, praying mantis being um, named Kermit. I just saw that comment today and I was like, Okay, so I've heard of this Ivan Teller. I don't watch other videos. It's so rare. And I and I actually, people are like, will you please watch this? And I just, I don't know. Um, I try. I do try. Um, I don't know. What am I supposed to find? I guess I, I need to be um, willing to explore uh, what else is out there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I thought um, I thought about this. That's kind of a funny name. It sounds like um, Kermit the Frog, obviously. Um, he's praying mantis. Um, so I don't know what Ivan Teller's Kermit the praying mantis is like. Um, but I thought I might just see if I couldn't. Um, you don't have to. So okay. Um, so this is pretty easy. Um, this is pretty instantaneous. Let's see what I what I'm just gonna start describing the pictures that come. Um, so he has sort of a sound. Um, he speaks with sort of sounds. Um, what is even like flapping wings or sort of like a flapping sort of quick um, rumbly noise? Um, sort of insecty. Um, and then spirit guides ask me if I think that is his voice speaking or his body speaking to me. Um, it sounds like his body speaking to me is, is what it sounds like. Um, so I'm getting really quickly relaxed here. Oh, man. So he channels, so he's able to speak to me through like a very um, intensifying green light um, and it shoots down straight through my head. Um, it's literally a cylindrical um, green light of energy. Um, he heard me thinking about this um, and he was contemplating. Um, I can see, um, so I, um, I imagine him, um, I perceive him to look just like, um, he looks to me just like a praying mantis, and the face does. It has sort of like a, um, what is like a spade, um, sort of face that is kind of, um, it looks like a praying mantis face. Um, let's see what I can get, um, hear him say to me. Um, he's sort of funny right now. Um. I'm just going to describe everything. Um, so I see a praying mantis face. Um, it's in the shape of a praying man, um, like I spoke. So, god damn, his, his energy is really hardcore. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the words out when it's so heavy? It's like blasting me. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to tell you something funny he's doing and I can't get it out. <laughs> He literally looks like um, he's what got a mustache and then um, glasses, um, so he's wearing a disguise, which is really silly. Um, a praying mantis face <laughs> wearing a disguise <laughs> of glasses and mustache, like a big nose, um, like he's trying to be a human being, um, but he's really praying mantis behind his disguise. You know, silly. Um, seems like he's really funny. Um, think that's what this name means too, um, that he would be sort of light for everybody to really enjoy his personality um, because his name is Kermit the Praying Mantis. Um, not Kermit the Frog, but he looks he looks kind of that way. Um, it's kind of funny like that because he's green too. Um, he's really loving. Um, they often do this. He's a gentleman, he's showing me. Um, touches my hand and then picks it up and goes to it <laughs> with his praying mantis mouth which is hidden behind this nose and mustache so I can't actually see it because <laughs> he's funny um he's sort of um like touching my cheek um like a mother or so or a parent would like squeeze your cheek and be like ah she's so cute kind of thing but he's sort of like um smiling and then just brushing his hand along my cheek like this um he likes he has something about cowboys um wearing even like um sort of like uh 
cowboy pants, like, um, leather chaps or something, but they've got, um, like, hide fur on them, um, and then even, like, a belt, um, and, like, cowboy boots, and he sort of likes that, um, he's just dressed up like he's, um, he's a praying mantis dressed up in cowboy getup <laughs> with with a disguise on. Um, I'm not making this up. I'm serious right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> he really wants to charm people with his humor aside. Um, because he's, he's really, f he loves, but he loves the human sort of creativity, um, that creates these expressions of clothing. And, um, he's talking about human history, um, going through all these variations of styles in the way people dress, um, and present themselves. People wear different clothing, but what's different between the people of today and the people of yesterday, you know? Um, is it the clothing, or um, are there per is it their personalities? Um, and you say it's the clothing, right? Because the clothing is the only thing that has changed. Um, but he's saying something else because he's showing me that um, people are touching their hearts. Um, he's talking about human history having to do with... Um, changes in heart um, that have fluctuated over globe and over time. Um, he's talking about counting down. Um, what is like people celebrating in the new year even? Um, really likes hearing people counting down into the new year and celebrating. And people um, celebrating in oneness across a globe. Um, not people just in their house crack open a beer and then celebrate because they're home from work now. Um, people celebrating across the globe. Um, it's a really big deal. Um, he wants people to hold each other's hands. Um, just random people. Like, like just go to Walmart and just say, I want to hold your hand. <laughs> and just do it. And then see how many people you can get to hold hands at Walmart. And then just make a giant string of people around Walmart holding each other's hands. And now imagine how much fun we are having with each other. Because we are interacting and loving each other and laughing. Because this is so silly. Um, but it's so real. And we're acknowledging each other by choosing to do something so random as an open open-minded and so awesome is just saying will you hold my hand <laughs> and then people saying yes to that and lots of people and he's saying um showing me about his funny side um also has a serious side because um when we choose to acknowledge um these gestures that seem so ridiculous um now we are laughing and rejoicing with each other um, how do you break the energy on this planet? You do things that are so ridiculous and, and un inappropriate. It's so inappropriate for people to just go want to hold hands at Walmart. You know what attitude I'm talking about. Um, but that is the most appropriate thing that anybody could be doing. Um, we should all be doing this every day. Um, it's more important than going to work. It's more important than that. Um, it is the most important thing that um, human beings could be doing every single day is choosing to go hold each other's hands and spend time together and interact with each other and choose to build a whole new way of being with each other. Um, isn't that fun? Isn't that exciting? Aren't you ready for something new? Um, can't we just clean up this... Um, this old sort of brush our hands. We did it. Um, done. Over with. Now let's go do something new. Um, let's go play on a new playground. Um, and let's make it awesome this time. Um, that's what he's talking about. He's sort of touching my cheek again. Um, he has to sing about it. It's almost like he says I love you um, when he does this. Um, it's sort of strange. Um, there's some real value to that. Um, because it's a really honest and loving gesture when he does it. Um, he wants me, he, um, something about his hands. He, he asked me if I know what his hands look like. Um, so, he, so I'm just going to describe um, that I just see my hand. Um, and then I see his hand like this. Um, and we both have five fingers. And I can't say that um, 
that is what I'm seeing, and but his fingers are much longer and they're green. Um, and that is what his hand is sh his hand is shown to me to look like. Um, he's like she doesn't believe that that's what my hand looks like. <laughs> that's like that's the message he's sending. Is like I don't know what you I I can't you know I'm a human being too. I have to I have to wonder um, if half this like. I know that this that I sent, I experienced this in a real way. Um, this is this is very honest. This is very real. Um, I can't make this stuff up. But I do question sometimes these things um, because I do understand how vulnerable a human mind is. I don't actually have you know what? How do I can, how do I comprehend um, everything in an infinite universe? I can only comprehend it based on what I've seen right in this lifetime. Um, and then sometimes I'm able to comprehend it through sort of miracles of memories that come through from other lifetimes and then just the, my infinite soul awareness blending into my um, perception. Um, but it's more than that um, because I am able to go beyond. I just don't have anything to go by um, in order to just double check. Um, Kermit, can you just teleport into my apartment right now? And then I just want to double check that that's what your hand looks like. <laughs> I don't, I can't do that. So we just have to go with what comes. Um, so that is what it looks like. Um, and he's saying that, um, what do human beings do um, when they're really proud of each other? We give each other a high five, right? He's saying that that's what this is about. Um, it's not just a high five. So people who love each other too, um, they should put their palms together like this and touch each other's palms and then look into each other's eyes. Now their um, eyes on their palms are looking into each other and then their eyes are looking in and now you can see each other with full clarity. Um, you'd be amazed by what the feeling is when you do this. And um, so he's talking about that too. It's not just, you know, he's giving me a high five, right? Um, but he's also it's something more sacred or more intimate um, with this interaction with the hand. Um, and it's so pure. Um, it's also like holding hands, you know, the silly thing with Walmart. But, but doing it in a pure way. Um, doing it with fun and laughter, but then also doing it with a very honest and pure vibration uh, and choosing to see every single person in that store as a sacred and divine expression that is worthy of love, deserves love, um, and thus should we should love um, each other. Um, I deserve to be loved and you deserve to be loved and you are not disgusting and I'm not disgusting we can hold each other's hands. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, that is what this message is. Um, choose to see each other as divine expressions of love um, and choose to touch each other. This is light as legit. So, so again, um, with the cheek, he's that's sort of like his gesture to, to tell me that he He's just so loving. Um, he's very dynamic. Um, got a lot of personality. Um, you see how we need every single person. Um, we need every single person. Um, how do I explain that? It's not just about Kermit. It's not just about me. It's not about Ivan Teller. It's not just about all of these people. Um, it's about you too. And it's, it's about every single person on this planet every single person off of this planet, even though they're in a body that is in a different form, um, it's about all of the souls choosing to see each other, help each other, bond with one another in different ways. That's the excitement of incarnation. You don't just in incarnate to be miserable, you incarnate to experience each other um, in loving and extraordinary ways. Um, but when you let fear be the, the sort of door that closes and now how are you opening yourself up to experience? You're not. Now you are experiencing your home and your walls and your thoughts and fears and concerns and worries about what is going to happen if. Um, but when you let all that stuff go and you start um, choosing to open up um, to this great big world um, and you start becoming excited about all the people in it, 
doesn't matter what they look like, doesn't matter how they act. Um, it is a world that is changing, and we have to acknowledge that it has caused a great deal of harm to every single person. And each person has had to deal with it differently. Some of us um, have been strong enough that we could override it and still be able to love others, um, whereas some um, have been destroyed by it um, and are still in pain from it. Um, this is a world that we have agreed to, um, but we are starting to see that we need to change things because we're sick and tired of everything, um, the way it's always been, and feeling just like it's 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 just t time for change, you know. It's just how do you change a whole globe? We have you have to change it by inspiring um, love, loving actions. It's not that hard. Um, the most loving things we can do are the most absurd. Um, so absurd as to do this Walmart thing. Um, that is all for this video. You see me? You see me going? <laughs> Making a short video. I've proven to myself I can channel an alien being um, in a very brief period of time. I want to just see how much wisdom I can spit out um, in short bursts so I can... Um, I just, I'm just trying new things, all right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm experiencing, I'm growing, developing, learning, and finding new ways to share. And um, as you can see, as this, this long string of videos is my personal development of figuring out how I can um, put a voice to everything that's in this body um, that is my spiritual expression. It's been hard. And so now I'm to a point where I am developing confidence and I'm not afraid to share what comes as it comes. Um, and now I just have even more room to grow. Um, we all do. I'm showing you all of this stuff because I want you to see that I, I too, um, am, have, have um, developed... Um, I, I always have talked to a spirit realm. I always have had that connection but I hid it inside me, you know, um, because I just wanted to be um, the best I could be in the world that I lived in. Um, it's just however that world spoke to me, um, however that world told me that this was the most appropriate way to be, that was how I was going to be because I wanted to be acceptable. I want to fit in. I want to be um, successful. I want to be all these things based on society, right? Um, and so that sort of destroyed me and corrupted my ability to speak um, from the spirit or from the heart. Um, and so you can see that. You can watch all my videos and you can see that I, I wasn't sure how to do it. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there and, and I'm learning how to do it um, in different ways. So I'm just, just, um, just going to keep on making videos <laughs> and then we'll just... See what happens. Um, the metamorphosis of Abby normal, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, if you're interested in interacting with me personally, um, you should visit my website. And I do channeled readings and um, spiritual healing. And I obviously do a super profound soul rebirth journey, which $125 for your life to change is um, absolutely the most profound and extraordinarily extraordinary gift I could give um, for so for such a value. Um, I just want to connect with as many people as I can. I want to heal as many people as I can. Some of the people that need the greatest healing cannot afford it. Um, I want to be able to help everybody. Um, I'm not just here to help people who can afford it. Um, I'm here to help every single person, and I don't know how to do that because I too, um, I too have to live, you know. Um, but I'm not here to. I'm I'm just doing the will of spirit, and I'm here to help humanity. And so, um, if you want me to locate um, soul fragments, explore past lives, um, it's just whatever comes out in the soul rebirth journey is exactly what your soul needed at this moment in time, and. And that is the extraordinary gift then that I give from the spirit realm. And it will heal you in ways that are not even definable by words. Um, you will feel better. <laughs> you, it's like um, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Um, but this is like the awesomest spiritual medicine gift that, um, <laughs> like, it's it's better than that. Um, but it's like as awesome as Mary Poppins when you're a kid and you're hearing that song for the first time. 
and you just love her. <laughs> that is like what this is. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's all. Um, so um, thank you for watching my video and more videos to come.